Hi, everybody. Um, I really miss you, and I wish we were together uh, right now because this is actually my favorite unit to talk about, which is the ocean and all of the animals that live there. Um, there's just so much diversity um, in the ocean and so much to share with you, and we're going to start this week by talking about sharks. Sharks are actually one of my son Tide's favorite animals, um, so he's excited to share some sharks with you as well. Uh, my daughter, Coral, is actually filming right now. Um, so um, she's doing a really good job and being a good helper. Um, so let's look at one of uh, Tide's favorite books, which is called Sharks. And I'm actually getting a lot of your questions for this week's quiz from this book. So please make sure you're paying attention um, to some of the facts that are found in here. This is from the American Museum of Natural History. So did you know that there's over 400 species of sharks? A shark is a type of fish with a skeleton that's made of, out of cartilage instead of bones. And cartilage is actually what makes up the tip of your nose and also parts of your ear. So let's look at a few other species. This is the blue shark. This is known for its beautiful blue color and some blue sharks are light blue and others are a darker shade. They often swim in all male or all female groups. The next species is a bull shark. This is known for being a fierce predator. It has a powerful bite and it's quick to attack. This shark eats mostly fish, dolphins, and sea turtles. The hammerhead shark has eyes on either side of its wide head and it allows it to see more of its surroundings as it searches for food and signs of danger. Sometimes the hammerhead shark uses its head to pin down its prey. The nurse shark lives in warm, shallow parts of the ocean and swims close to the sea floor. It makes a sucking sound when it hunts for food because it hunts for its prey. Go ahead, Tide. Very good. It sounds just like that. The mako shark is the fastest shark in the ocean. It can swim up to 60 miles per hour. That's nearly as fast as a cheetah can run. The mako shark uses its speed to catch its prey. That's one of your favorites, right, yeah. Tide? I can take out my thoughts and then just run like a cheetah. And the mako shark. You bet. Yeah, you better believe it. You can. You can run very, very fast. The tiger shark is known as the waste basket of the sea. This is because it will eat almost anything. This includes sea turtle shells, birds, and even garbage. This shark's amazing eyesight allows it to hunt at night and in murky waters. The great white shark has a strong sense of smell. It can smell food from three miles away, and this shark can have up to three hundred teeth. In all sharks, when one tooth falls out, it is replaced by a tooth growing behind it. The Greenland shark is one of the most unique sharks. It is the slowest shark in the world. It moves slower than one mile per hour, and most Greenland sharks are blind, so they rely on their other senses to hunt for food. And the whale shark is one of the largest fish in the sea. At 40 feet long, it is as large as a school bus. And this shark is, it likes to live alone and usually is not seen in very large groups. Many sharks are endangered, which means there are few of them left in the world. Overfishing and pollution have made it hard for sharks to survive. Sharks share the ocean with many other living creatures. Sharks are very important because they keep ocean life in balance. And the expert that wrote this book is John Maisie. Um, and again, this is from the American yeah. Museum of Natural History. So Tide and I are going to share a few species of sharks with you. We have a lot of, of figures here, um, and we're going to talk about um, some of these as well. So going through some of these species, Tide, what, what are these types of sharks here? Hammerhead. Yeah, these are hammerhead sharks. And, and hammerhead sharks, again, are, are really unique because they have this flattened head here, and underneath them, they have something called the ampullae of Lorenzini. And those are little tiny pores that they use to scan the ocean bottom. And that allows them to hunt. Um, some other really unique species is this guy right here. These ones get really, really big and they're called the whale shark. Whale sharks actually eat plankton. And that's where they get their name from. So this is actually a very docile species of shark. One that will not... Um, you know, you don't hear them with uh, attacks on humans. One that we said is the wastebasket of the ocean is known as the tiger shark. Tiger sharks are known for their tiger-like stripes along the side of their body, and they're known for pretty much eating anything 
uh, that they come in contact with. Uh, they have been found with tires in their in their uh, bellies, um, as well as license plates and plastic and a bunch of other garbage because they mistaken it uh, for food. Um, other sharks that we have here um, is the saw shark. This one's really unique with all of these teeth on the outer part um, of its snout. Um, we also have black tip reef sharks um, and great white sharks and lemon sharks oh, and leopard all, sharks. Is also the great white shark. Right here, you can show them this one. Tell them this one, buddy. This one is the great white shark and it moves his tail and over his mouth and then he doesn't flap his towels mm -hmm. or anything like that. Yeah. And he doesn't flap his, this one does. And this one does. Oh, okay. Oh, does. so he doesn't flap his fins. This one does. Okay. This one does. This one does. So, and so I hope you does. learned a lot about these different mm -hmm. species of sharks, and we're going to be watching some really cool videos this week, um, as well as talking about um, these species more in detail. Um, so, again, I miss you all, um, and I hope you're well. And, and we will talk to you soon. See ya. And we will watch a shark video. Yes, and we will watch a shark video. Bye. Bye.